The future of a Providence strip club has been decided after a man was stabbed to death in the parking lot last weekend. Today, the Board of Licenses took a closer look at the Cadillac Lounge, which had been shut down for nearly a week. 12 News reporter Joe Cortez joins us now live in studio with an update. Joe. Mike, the Board of Licenses' second emergency hearing was originally scheduled for yesterday, but was postponed 24 hours. Now, just four days after Stefan Calise was murdered in a parking lot adjacent to the Cadillac Lounge, the board has agreed to allow the owners to reopen, but only if they follow certain conditions. In the wake of a homicide outside the Cadillac Lounge in Providence on Saturday, the city's Board of Licenses ordered the Adult Entertainment Club to shut down operations for three days. Today, a second emergency hearing took place at City Hall. That opportunity to the both police and the attorney for the establishment. And at this point, the city uh, does not have an objection to the establishment uh, opening back up uh, with certain conditions. Martone said the club has been in full cooperation with the police investigation, and in order to open, they will need extra security present in the parking lot, the continuation of pat downs and use of metal detectors, and additional police detail for the rest of the week. We are asking they uh, call police or alert the detail officers if they uh, encounter anybody who they uh, remember or believe to have been part of either of the groups that were there. According to the city solicitor, the police detail has already been ordered and will be filled prior to the reopening. Board Chairman Dylan Conley said the conditions will be the status quo until next Wednesday when the Board of Licenses meets again to address any developments in the situation. But for now, the lounge will reopen later this evening. Live in studio, Joe Cortez, 12 News.